Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome entry-level bunkhouse travel trailer with no slide outs. This is a 2021 Forest River Wildwood x Lite Model 261 BHXL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we dislike about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this Wildwood 261 BHXL. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Nice day here in Florida. And I'm super excited to show everybody this. I have seen this floor plan before. And like you said, it's cool because it's no slides, bunkhouse, but still fairly roomy. Yep. So. And reasonably priced. Also, just so everybody knows, this is the Wildwood X Lite. It is the same exact thing as the Salem X Lite. Let's begin. Model is 261 BHXL. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 28 feet seven inches the dry weight is 4632 pounds and well the hitch weight 500 pounds even always remember you guys want to use weight distribution bars doesn't matter what you're towing it with right up here we do have a nice power tongue jack oh by the way i did mention this is the entry level travel trailer but there's a lot of higher end features because we buy these in bulk so one being a nice power tongue jack uh right here two 20 pound propane tanks go you can upgrade them to 30 pounds and Right, here's your battery tray. You do have aluminum sides, okay? Aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Right here's a black diamond plate rock guard there. And then check this out. That is a power stabilizing jack. I love that. Right there, you do have solar on the outside. And then here, we do have some nice pass-through storage right there. Right there's that jack. And then look at this. A huge power awning with LED lights. That's going almost the whole length of the travel trailer. It is, yep. Love that. Even though it's entry level, I still love how they're getting solid steps. I love this. It's so great to have that at a great price point unit. Check out these tires. Well, they're the Castle Rocks. I love those. The uh, ST... 205. 205. That's 75 R14 with the black rims there. And I love how there's a window right here on the campsite by your dinette. Right here, if you do want to have a TV on the outside, you can watch it. And then this here is a little outside kitchen. I like that. Nice little griddle, nice little fridge right there. Very nice. Around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Here's your water heater, your black tank flush, a little spray port pss, pss, right there. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera and will. Amazon is the best place for everybody to get their furry on backup cameras, your sewer hoses, your fresh water hoses, and everything. And what should everybody do before they do that? Go down in the description below, click our link. Down in our description below, we have a link to Amazon. It doesn't change the price, but what it does is it takes some of the money from Jeff Bezos and gives it to Matt and Will. That's right. And we appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Finishing up, look at this, a great place to dump your black and gray Very tank. Nice. I love that. 30 amp power cord right here. Again, no slide outs on this travel trailer. I love that. Here's your fresh water fill, your potable water. Potable, potable. City water connection and everything. And then down here is the other side of that storage. There you go. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. all right so very open here here's the bedroom the living room dining area and the kitchen here 2761 is the cargo carry capacity will pretty good bunks and here and the, the only bathroom there we have 
is if everyone could leave down in the comments below, let us know three things you like about it and three things you don't like about it. The more people to do that, the more YouTube likes to promote our YouTube show too. That's right. We thank you. Right here, Will, into the bedroom. Yes. A lot of times manufacturers will make this a full wall. I prefer this. I like this. I like the curtain. I like the open and airiness. Again, small travel trailer with no slide outs, and it just makes this bedroom area feel huge. Right? You have storage right here. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. Decent size mattress. Okay. Uh, if you're tall like Will, it's probably going to be a little bit short for you. Yeah. You have the storage right here, and you have these little cubby holes there for you to put your cell phones and everything. Also, there is storage underneath the bed. Oh, and I love these little yeah, that's uh, cool. baskets as well. Over here in the living room area, you just walk around and you have a nice jack knife sofa. I like how big this sofa is. It's really big and nice, especially for this travel trailer not having any slide outs. I like that. Yeah. Um, really comfortable we it does jackknife to make a bed if you do need a guest to sleep here and oh the Where's tv the would go right there where that oh you're right is. yep you definitely want that on a swivel arm and then the dinettes right here again i love this dinette by the campsite right here we do have storage with a bucket that pulls out this does drop down to make a bed we do have some storage right above there yes sir and then this dinette this is nice because it's a actual a two-seater dinette and it's actually very comfortable and i like the elevated cushions with that back support huh yeah very nice yeah very nice well will it's now time for the msrp msrp on this travel trailer here is not that bad $29,534 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we don't currently have a sale price, but listen, we sell either this or the Salem version at every one of our stores in the country, and so we buy a lot of this floor plan. What does that mean, Will? Get, well, we get big manufacturers from the big discounts from the manufacturers. <laughs> That means we can get you the best price in America. Oh, well, yeah, tell yeah. everybody how they can do that. <laughs> they can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone number or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. That's my email or even better, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. If you're ready to buy one of these or any travel trailer, click that first contact me tab. Somebody from my team at General RV will call you ASAP and get you the best price in America. If you guys have questions about this RV and you want to email me or Will, click that second tab. That goes directly to us and we will answer you within 24, four to, in 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab. But Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. <laughs> will, let's continue the video. All right. Start right, right there. So, yeah, we'll start over here. Nice kitchen overall. It's small, but, um, you know, again, it's a small trailer. So yes. good, good storage, good use of space over here. Get more storage up top here. You have a nice graystone microwave over here. And uh -huh. range hood there. Hood range. Um, good size window here, too. And I do like this backsplash, even though it's almost not needed. Yep. Um, not solid surface countertops. Again, it's going to be entry level, so I wouldn't expect it, but it does have a nice faucet here. Yes, sir. And a double bowl sink with this cover here. Very nice. Over top. You have a, who makes this? Greystone three burner cooktop with the glass top as well and yep. blue lights. Ooh. And of course, the oven there as well. Well, you're all over the place. Sorry. Microwave. I already did the microwave. You did not I? do the microwave. Oh, sorry. Microwave there. Yep. Or maybe you did do the microwave and I'm lost. Maybe. But still, you're not sticking. Drawers. You're not sticking to the plan, Will. <laughs> Drawers. And storage there as well. There you go. And oh, you did do the microwave because the hood range. Yeah. Maybe. My, my bad. My bad. Nice compressor fridge here as well. Very nice. That was weird. Because you went from here to here. Yeah. To there. 
missed that, and then <laughs> I went back up there, and now we're down there. Yeah. Well, you're messing up the whole show. Sorry. It's okay. It's now time for the tall test. All right. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa dang. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, boy. <laughs> This definitely can't be passed. But I will say I'm pretty impressed with the size of the shower. Yeah. Does not pass the tall test. It is A-OK. -okay. Yep. Right out here is the sink in the medicine cabinet and the uh, little countertop below. The sink is outside the bathroom and we'll just sit on the switch. toilet. No. Oh, OK. Just do it. It's All not right. going to pass. It's not. First, oh, yeah. First off, it's plastic. Yep. And there's just not, no room. So. Will's just a man. He's a manly man. <laughs> Great. And now here's the bunk bed areas. Teddy bear mattresses right there and there. Is this lift? No, nope, but there is storage underneath that bunk area. And I like the windows, well, the window up there, but not down there. Mm. And yeah, pretty decent sized bunk area. And again, it's just it's just a little tight right here, but again, no slide out. So there's yep. advantages to that. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before we go, it's now time we give everybody Three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go first. Okay. I actually love the fact that this is a travel trailer that doesn't have slide outs. Yep. Not everybody likes or wants slide outs. And so this answers that piece of the market. And if you do pull over at a rest stop or whatever, this is the way your RV is at all times. Definitely. Yep. So that's one. Two. I'm gonna say that I like you. They could have done this, um, but they didn't. I and I in this case I like that they didn't do the wall here. Yep. I really think it would have given a much more closed off feel. Yep. So, um, you know, you lose a little bit of privacy, but again, you're you're in such a small trailer that you, you got to give and take a little. Yep, for sure. So. so that's two, and then number three. Follow me, Will. All right. I love the fact that you get these electric stabilizing jacks and a very price point effective travel trailer and i think they knocked it out of the park with like with, with giving you some features. of the higher end features to make it yeah. easier to set up your camping very nice great so that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things was that terry keep it down terry we're recording <laughs> now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer ready for me to go first sure i hate these twisty doors here yeah Right, and I don't like that the other side of that pasture storage uh -huh. was a lot narrower door. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why either. It was kind of peculiar to me. Yep. So that's one. Two. Two, I'm gonna say. Um, probably the bathroom. Yeah. The bathroom's almost like, I like this, but that is like pretty much unusable space i mean other than the kids but um it's just yeah. very small and tight very small yep you're going to the bathhouse speaking of small and tight that's where my number three is going to be and it's my like and my dislike the fact that it doesn't have slide outs it is a tighter area yep and for me personally being a little bit of a bigger guy um you know that just doesn't work for me you know i personally would get the travel trailer with slide outs just because it is tight here and it's really hard to maneuver past people. Right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the travel trailer, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell, but the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that contact me tab. If you're in the market for a travel trailer like this in a few seconds, you're gonna see what this is going to directly compete against in a video right here. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. All right guys, I hope you like this small no slide travel trailer. Um, definitely a great option if that's what you're looking for. And make sure to leave in the comments below three things you like and dislike. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.